Hello students, today I'll deliver a lecture on split genes, overlapping genes, transposons and oncogenes. First, let us see what split genes are. Split genes, also known as interrupted genes, are the genes which possess extra non-coding or non-essential regions called introns, special DNA or intervening sequences interspersed with essential or coding paths called exons. They were discovered by Sharp and Roberts along with many others in 1977 and obabumin genes of chicken coding for the 386 amino acid long obabumin protein of eggs was the first split gene to be described in 1977 by Paris Chambon and his colleagues. Split genes are characteristic of eukaryotes, except for some genes like the histone genes of sea urchin, interferon genes, etc. Split genes are rarely present in prokaryotes, example, thymidylate synthase gene and ribonucleotide reductase gene in T4. Let us now see the important features of interrupted genes. An interrupted or split gene generally begins with an exon and ends with an exon. Most of the split genes are interrupted by one or more non-coding intervening sequences or introns. Introns alternate with exons or the coding sequences that encode the amino acid sequence of the polypeptide chain. The exons and introns are transcribed together to yield a long primary RNA transcript initially and introns are removed later. Therefore, the collinearity of gene and protein is maintained between the individual exons and the corresponding parts of the polypeptide chain and the genetic distances on the recombination map does not correspond to the distance between the amino acid in the polypeptide chain. There are about 4 exons in Saccharomyces cerevisiae genes while insect genes have fewer than 10 exons and mammalian genes generally have more than 10 exons with some having several tens of exons. A gene may contain one or several introns and the size of introns also vary in genes and in some genes for example, the mouse beta globin gene which encodes the beta subunit of hemoglobin contains 2 introns while the chicken obabumin gene contains 8 in exons and 7 introns distributed over approximately 7.7 .7 kilobases of genomic DNA. On the other hand, another extreme example is that of the gene that encodes the human blood clotting protein factor 8 which is approximately 186 kb in size and is divided into 26 exons. However, the exons are only about 9 kb long and the introns occupy more than 175 kb in the gene. The length of introns is also sometimes far greater than the exons. Example, the X-linked dystrophin gene in humans, mutation of which causes Duchenne muscular dystrophy is more than 2000 kb in size and the coding exons constitute less than 1% of the sequence. The average size yeast gene is 1.4 kb while the interrupted genes in higher eukaryotes have length between 5 kb and 100 kb. The variation in the lengths of genes are primarily due to the variation in the lengths of the introns and evolutionary related genes have similar organizations with conservation of at least some positions of the introns. The exons occur in the same precise order in the messenger RNA in which they occur in the gene. The same interrupted gene organization is consistently present in all the tissues of the organism. Introns do not seem to have coding functions and are generally believed to represent remnants of sequences that were important earlier in evolution. Introns, however, may have helped in accelerating evolution by facilitating recombination between exons or protein coding regions of different genes by a process known as exon shuffling. Let us now see what overlapping genes are. Overlapping genes are the genes in which one gene forms part of the other gene 
when the same sequence of DNA is shared between two non-homologous proteins. Overlapping genes are found in small compact genomes such as those of viruses, example in bacteriophage 5x174, the genes B, E and K overlap other genes and other viruses like MS2, SV40 and phage K. But are very rare in the nuclear genomes of higher organisms, although they have been reported to be present in the mitochondrial genomes of some animals including humans. Overlapping genes are also present in tryptophan messenger RNA of E. coli. In overlap genes, the first half or second half of a gene commonly specify the first or second half of a protein independently while the full gene specifies the full length forms of the protein. The shared DNA sequence in overlap genes is translated in more than one reading frame. The distance of overlap is usually sought in overlap genes and most of the protein coding sequences are unique. The amino acid sequences of the proteins coded by a pair of overlap genes are usually different since the messenger RNAs are translated from different reading frames. Overlapping genes mutate together since a single mutation in the overlapping region often results in the loss of activities of two gene products generating pleiotropy. However, sometimes the two genes may undergo mutation independent of each other due to the degeneracy of code. Since overlapping genes occur widely in compact genomes, it is believed to be an economical method to utilize the genome since it allows the packing of more genetic information in little nucleotide sequence. In contrast to the overlapping genes, some nuclear genomes contain a gene within an intron of a second gene and are referred to as the genes within genes. For example, the human neurofibromastosis type 1 gene has three short genes called OGMP, EVI2A and EVI2B within one of its introns and the internal genes are also split into exons and introns. Similarly, many non-coding small nuclear RNAs that are involved in chemical modification of other RNAs are also specified by genes within introns. Next, let us take up the transposons. Transposons or transposable elements are also called jumping genes and are segments of DNA that can jump or move from one place in the genome to another. They were first discovered by Barbara McClintock in 1951 in maize when she observed that when a segment of DNA move into the coding region of the gene for pigmentation, it resulted in light colored kernels. They are commonly found in almost all organisms including both prokaryotes and eukaryotes and they make up approximately 50% and 90% of the human and maize genome respectively. Transposons generally possess similar or inverted repeated DNA elements of 5, 7 or 9 nucleotides at their ends and the enzyme transposes cleaves the repetitive sequence at its ends during transposition. Transposons are commonly divided based on the requirement or non-requirement of reverse transcription during transposition. The transposable elements that require reverse transcription during transposition are known as retrotransposons or class 1 transposable elements, whereas those that do not require reverse transcription are known as DNA transposons or class 2 transposable elements. Both class 1 and class 2 transposable elements can further be divided into autonomous or non-autonomous types. Autonomous transposable elements can move on their own while non-autonomous elements require the presence of other transposable elements in order to transpose since they lack the transposes or reverse transcriptase genes required for transposition. 
the movement of transposons from one place to another place of the genome during transposition brings about reshuffling of nucleotide sequences in genes. Such reshuffling in intron regions may often cause changes in expression of genes, example like the conversion of proto-oncogenes to oncogenes, while shuffling of exons during transposition may lead to the development of new genes. The transposable elements may also cause other mutational changes in the genome through insertions, deletions and translocations. Therefore, since transposon movement can be destructive to the genome, most of the transposon sequences are generally silent and small interfering RNA or siRNAs also known as RNAi prevent transposition in many cases. Next, let us see what oncogenes are. Cancer is a disease which is characterized by cells that escape the normal control methods of growth and division. It is commonly caused by mutation altering the regulation systems of genes that normally regulate cell growth and division during the cell cycle like the genes for growth factors, their receptors and the intracellular molecules of signaling pathways. Changes in genes that cause cancer were found to be induced by random spontaneous mutations or environmental influences such as chemical carcinogens, x-rays or certain viruses and the cancer causing genes were termed oncogenes. Oncogenes were initially discovered in retroviruses but their cellular counterparts were also discovered in other organisms. The normal cells mostly undergo programmed rapid cell death or apoptosis when critical functions are altered but when oncogenes are activated they can cause the cells designated for apoptosis to survive and proliferate instead. Commonly multiple oncogenes along with mutated apoptotic and or tumor suppressor genes or genes whose normal products inhibit cell division act in concert to cause cancer. Most oncogenes are derived from proto-oncogenes which are normal genes involved in cell growth and proliferation or inhibition of apoptosis and they can become an oncogen due to mutations or increased expression. A proto-oncogen becomes an oncogen due to genetic changes like movements of DNA within the genome, amplification of the proto-oncogen and point mutations in the control element of the proto-oncogen and such changes lead to an increase in the activity of the protein product of the proto-oncogen. Some examples of proto-oncogens include RAS, WNT, MEG, ARK and TRK. The proto-oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes and code proteins that commonly form components of cell signaling pathways and mutations in these genes cause most of the cancers. For example, 30 and 50 percent of human cancers involve mutations in the RAS proto-oncogene and the P53 tumor suppressor gene. The product of the RAS gene is the RAS protein which is a G protein that plays a role in relaying signal from a growth factor receptor on the plasma membrane to a cascade of protein kinases that finally lead to the synthesis of a protein that stimulates excessive cell division. The P53 tumor suppressor gene is named after its protein product which has a molecular weight of 53,000 Dalton. Mutations that lead to expression of the P53 gene produce the P53 protein which is a transcription factor for several genes. It can activate several genes like the P21 gene which halts the cell cycle, the genes involved in DNA repair and other suicide genes whose protein products cause cell death by apoptosis and the activation of these genes lead to excessive cell growth and cancer. Let us now see the conclusion. We can conclude by saying that 
Split genes, also known as interrupted genes, are characteristics of eukaryotes and are characterized by extra non-coding or non-essential regions called introns, spacer DNA or intervening sequences interspersed with essential or coding paths called exons. Split genes are rarely present in prokaryotes. On the other hand, the overlapping genes are found mostly in small compact genomes such as those of viruses and are rarely present in the nuclear genomes of higher organisms. Both prokaryotic and eukaryotic genomes also contain large percent of transposable elements and the movement of transposons from one place to another place of the genome during transposition brings about reshuffling of nucleotide sequences in genes. Another significant type of gene is the cancer-causing oncogenes which are commonly derived from proto-oncogenes when mutations in these genes lead to increased expression of normal genes involved in cell growth and proliferation or inhibition of apoptosis. Thank you.